infiltrometer, but if you've got any sort of old six inch pipe laying around at the farm, don't do aluminum, it's too soft, it'll, it'll bend when you pound it. But if you've got an old steel six inch pipe, cut a section about, what, lay five inches mm -hmm. maybe? Um, because you, yeah. you want it to go down about two or three inches if you can. Yes. And Lee pounded this in when, when I was talking and it's so dry, he had a tough time pounding mm -hmm. it in. But um, take your grinder and even bevel a little bit of that edge to make it a little sharp edge um, and that'll help it go down easier. So what, what we want to do is try to get an indication of um, we're going to simulate an inch of rainfall and we're gonna see how quickly that's going to tilt infiltrate. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna use this center ring um, because it takes a lot more water. So a little trick of the trade, um, a water bottle is about 500 milliliters. An inch of rain in a six inch diameter like that is something like 447 milliliters or something. But what you do, a big swig of water, that gets you about the right amount of rainfall to simulate an inch. So you're gonna set your ring down. You don't wanna hammer directly on the ring if you can help it. So get a block of wood, um, two by fours <clears throat> tend to, if you hold it on the side of two by fours, it'll hold up a little better. Two by fours tend to break that's apart. That's if you so you're gonna lay that block in and you're gonna pound, well, not on the handle, but you guys won't have a handle. You're gonna pound as evenly as you can into that and I'm just doing that for demonstration purposes but you you don't want to try to rock it as much you want to try to get it as straight down as you can and then after you've got it set it should be a little bit deeper than this but like Lee said the soils are just really dry and challenging you want to then go around with your fingers and just lightly press the soil against the edge of that pipe because what we don't want happening is when we pour the water on, if we've got gaps right along the pipe, that water's gonna just follow that pipe down the sides. We, we wanna seal those gaps as much as we can so that we're getting a true kind of soil infiltration measure. All right, anything I forgot on that one? You're doing good, it's time for, time for rain. So, um, I'm gonna pour this directly on the handle so we're, we're not kind of pouring it directly on the soil, but oh, we didn't set the time watch. So everybody's normally- I got it. So on your phone, you can start the timer when the water gets in there. And then we're gonna wait for that water to soak in and we're gonna time it, time it on our phone. And this being a real dry soil, right? We were kind of pre-wetting it at this point. So I bet we'll put a second inch of water on. Mm -hmm. I bet after we kind of pre-wet with this first inch, we'll see some better infiltration rates. After you've pre-wetted the soil and allowed it to infiltrate, wet the soil again with an inch of water as Lisa described. Time how long it takes for the water to infiltrate and record the time. We want rapid infiltration. Some of the best soils will infiltrate several inches of water in one hour. Poorly functioning soils may take 30 minutes or more to absorb one inch. Trampling grass into the soil with livestock keeping living roots in the soil as much as possible, and adding compost to encourage microbial population growth will improve nutrient cycling.